welcome back. It's time to talk some glam. We're going to look at the latest glam polish collection. This collection launches on August 30th. We're also going to be looking at the limited edition Glam Geek Duo inspired by Buffy the Vampire Slayer that launches on the same day. The main collection has 10 polishes in it. It's called Chillin' Like a Villain. They are each inspired by a different Disney villain. And then like I mentioned, we'll look at the duo right after that. The launch time on August 30th is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link to the website will be in the description bar below. As you know, I do live swatch of everything on my channel, so you're gonna watch me apply this on my natural nail. These are all first impression swatches too, so this isn't me sitting there trying to make a polish look the best it possibly can. This is raw, right out of the bottle, so that you can see what my natural experience is with these polishes, and that will most likely be a similar experience to what you're going to have with them. So I'm gonna go in alphabetical order like I always do. There are 12 polishes to look at today, so we better go ahead and get started. All right, the first polish that we're going to start with is one of my favorites out of the whole collection, so that's really fun to start with at first. This is a really beautiful dark, like, it's like a dark raspberry to boysenberry jelly base, and you guys, this is stunning on. I put this on very first, and I was like, dang, this is how we're going to kick off this collection. Okay, so this one's called Friends on the Other Side, and I believe this is inspired by Princess and the Frog. I'm going to be making my best guess to each of these guys. So I believe that's the name of the song from that show. This polish is described as a dark plum jelly with iridescent flakies, ultra hollow glitter, metallic purple glitter mix, and neon pink glitter mix. There is so much going on in here. If this is your first time watching a glam polish video on my channel, they pack so much into their polishes, you can hardly even believe the wide variety and just how much flaky and glitter goodness comes out on your nail with each of these polishes. So I'm just going to be doing two coats of everything today with the exception of the polish that I think duos as a topper and full coverage polish. So the next polish in the collection is another purple. Now of course I'm going in alphabetical order so it's just kind of random how the colors stack up here. We have Go On, Have a Bite. So is this inspired by Snow White or is this inspired by that movie Enchanted? You guys will have to let me know what you think. Go On, Have a Bite is described as a bright grape purple with iridescent flakes, aurora shimmer, and ultra hollow glitter. The iridescent flakes are going really, really like red pink and the shimmer, I'm getting this beautiful strong green shimmer and it's definitely like a gold green maybe over to purple too. Mm, it's so pretty you guys and there's lots of hollow in here as well. This gets nice and opaque at just two coats. It's called Go On, Have a Bite. All right, that's the second one out of the collection. This next one is the one that I think that you could wear as a topper or a full coverage polish. This one's called I'm Surrounded by Idiots. Google tells me that this is from The Lion King. Yes, I had to Google that. I knew that I recognized it but I just didn't know what from. This um, is, like I said, it could be worn as a topper. It's a flaky bomb with lots and lots of hollow in there as well. The description reads, hollow base, so that's referring to like the linear hollow running all through the base, with a mix of shifting multi-chrome flakes and copper ultra hollow glitter. So the copper presence is very strong for sure, but the multi-chrome flakes, I'm getting copper gold green, I also see some dark blue in there. We might have a little bit of dark green to dark blue shift on some of those flakies. There's a very strong gold vibe going on here. So if you take a light hand with just one coat, you can make this work as a topper. I've shown it to you over another polish in the collection, but I wanna show how this builds up on its own too because it's totally capable of reaching opacity at three coats. This next one is going in a very different direction. This is a silver, it's beautiful. It has a lot of blue in it and this is just super, super bright silver hollow goodness. This one's called I'm the Overlord of the Underworld and I think this is from Hercules, right? This one is described as a hollow base, so same kind of idea there with the linear hollow. Then we've got hollow flakies, sapphire shimmer, charcoal, silver, and pewter ultra hollow glitter. So there's a lot, a lot of glitter in here. And you have the addition of the hollow flakies, adding more hollow goodness. Um, but for the most part, you've got kind of a glitter bomb going on with a holographic base. 
I swatches that two coats, this reaches opacity very quickly. This built up super, super easily at just the two coats. All right, so let's move into something dark. This is a very dark purpley base with some bright red shimmer, purple flakies, some blue stuff going on. Whoa, this one's really cool. It's called It Won't Cost Much, Just Your Voice. So this is obviously for Ursula. And this one is described as a dark ink purple jelly with iridescent flakies, aurora shimmer, ultra hollow glitter, and neon blue glitter mix. So that's really cool. Those neon blue glitters really pull this whole thing together. I love it when Glam Polish throws some neon glitters in their polishes. It's super, super fun. The iridescent flakies are this beautiful bright bluish purple and they really glow in here. It's very cool. The um, shimmer is going red to green and like I said, there's hollow glitter in here as well. Okay, next up we have this beautiful berry. It's so, so gorgeous. I love this polish. It's inspired by one of my least favorite villains. This is inspired by Mother Gothel from Rapunzel and it's called Mother Knows Best and I just really despise this villain because she's the mother figure and she's posing as the person who's supposed to care for you and just love you maybe the most out of anybody in your life and she's the villain and if I was gonna hate anybody I would hate this lady that's how much I dislike her she's my least favorite villain okay uh, mother's nose best is a beautiful berry like I said and it's described as a cranberry crelly with strong aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter so the Aurora Shimmer, again, is this red to green, and it's just divine. This comes up in opacity very quickly. I only needed the two coats. It paints on so nice and easily. And, of course, we have those hollow glitters in there, giving a beautiful sparkle and twinkle, just like the twinkling lights that Rapunzel sees every year on her birthday. Uh-oh. Shh. Spoiler. Okay. Hope you've seen it. All right. Next up, we have No One's Slick as Gaston. And so this is the Gaston polish, and it is gorgeous. This is another one of my favorites. So this is kind of like a neon coral base with again a very strong red to green shimmer. The description reads bright red orange crelly with strong aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. So this kind of has the same formula as the Mother Knows Best that we just looked at. I believe they probably have the same components but very different looks on the nail because you have such different base colors. And this one is just gorgeous. I love this base red orange shade. And then you have that strong green glow in there against it. It just looks so, so cool. So really great at two coats. This was the polish that you saw underneath the scar polish as well, in case you were wondering. The next polish in the collection is the Magnificent Marvelous Mad Madame Mim. And she is one of my favorite villains because she's one of the first villains that I really remember thinking was just kind of hilarious. And Sword in the Stone is an older Disney film, and so it's one of the ones that I saw when I was really, really young. And I just thought that she was so cool. She had, like, purple hair, and she was just doing her own thing, and she was just, like, being a witch in the forest, but she was also, like, really deadly. So, <laughs> this one's also a purple shade, and it's a lighter purple with a beautiful, strong pink to gold to green shimmer. The Magnificent Marvelous Mad Madame Mim. I'm so glad it has that whole name, too is described as a periwinkle crelly with strong aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. All right, next up we have the Mistress of All Evil from The Sleeping Beauty, and this is a dark black jelly base with beautiful blue and green iridescent flakies and hollow glitter. The official description reads, black jelly with a hint of blue. Ooh, so it's just a tiny little pinch of blue in there. With iridescent flakies, those are the green and blue ones. It actually goes green, blue, purple, I feel. Neon purple glass flex. Oh, that's bringing in more of the purple even too then. So gorgeous, you guys. Ultra hollow glitter and metallic purple glitter mix. So much purple, but you also have that beautiful accent of blue and green. This one is so fun. If you were looking for a really fun, different black jelly flaky, this is going to hit the spot. This one's so great. Okay, and the final polish that is in the Chillin' Like a Villain collection is the Return of Jafar. So, of course, we know who this polish is for. And thank goodness for a Jafar polish because he is such a great villain. I don't love him so much in the recent Aladdin, actually. I didn't think he was as scary, but he was real scary to me when I was a kid. So, the Return of Jafar 
is described as a magenta to gold to green multichrome with shifting multichrome flakies and ultra hollow glitter. The flakies, I'm getting this beautiful copper and red again. They might be the same exact color shift actually. And then of course tons of hollow glitter. So this one builds up super easily in two coats because it is a multi-chrome and you're getting a really fun shifty payoff with this polish. You know what I wish that they would do? I wish they would do a Jafar prequel so I could find out like what was the deal with Jafar before he became Jafar. All right, we're gonna move on to the duo. This is the Glam Geek Duo. It's special edition, it's limited edition. There are only 100 bottles of each shade. So if you want these polishes, you wanna get there quickly. Like I said, these launch on August 30th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the website in the description bar below. All right, this duo is gonna be $25 a piece and each bottle is $12.50 a piece, just like the polishes in the Chillin' Like a Villain collection. Okay, so like I mentioned, this duo is inspired by Buffy and Angel, which I'm super, super excited about. This takes me right back to freshman year in high school, and we will swatch them in alphabetical order, of course. So we have this beautiful dark red, and then we have this very light grayed out orchid with tons and tons of shimmer. So first we're gonna do the light polish. It's called No Guy Is Worth Your Life, Not Ever. I love that, that's so, so cute that she made a polish with that name. Um, this one is described as a mauve Crelly with strong Aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. Super pretty. This is a mauve that pulls um, very much on the purple side and then the shimmer is the pink gold green. It's very strong and then the same hollow glitter. The green against the mauve base of this just looks wild. I love it, you guys. The next polish in the duo is called Without Passion dot 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 we'd truly be dead. And what a passionate color. This is gorgeous. It's described as a dark wine jelly with strong Aurora shimmer and ultra hollow glitter. So same formula here. We've got the red to gold to green shimmer going all through this polish, just making it look like it's absolutely glowing with this red from some angles and with the green from others. And it looks divine in that deep wine jelly base. Super, super pretty. So much of that hollow glitter in there as well. So without passion, We'd truly be dead, and it's kind of fun because they're almost opposite ideas. Those one is urging you to embrace all your passion, and the other one's like, for all your passion, still, like, don't sacrifice your life for a guy. It's not worth it. So, you know, be passionate, but not too much is kind of what the theme of this collection is. Don't take it too far. Don't Romeo and Juliet it. Um, anyway, I love this duo. I think it's so cute. And all of these polishes we looked at today all launch on the same day, August 30th. So be there or be square, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites are. Who is your favorite Disney villain or any other villain that's in another, you know, franchise? Let me know. Who's your favorite villain? Which villain do you love to hate? Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for joining me for this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you back for another one very soon. Take care until then. Bye!